Lele Pons, Lele Pons, Lele Pons, Lele Pons. Lele is someone that I've always wanted to make more and more videos about because she's such an interesting character. She's someone who I've always wanted to mock online more than anybody else, purely for the fact that her humor is absolutely god awful. And it's not like it's just a subjective thing. No, like her skits are genuinely terrible. Epic bra moment. I don't know how she's managed to get so many views on the platform, but she has. Uh, she's one of the biggest YouTubers now, so. Thanks, Vine, I guess? It's one of those Vine stars that managed to make YouTube a career, but just somehow isn't funny. All the friends she makes videos with as well seem to just be as unfunny as her. Like, for example, this guy, and this guy, and well, all, all of these people. I, I know, again, comedy is subjective, but Jesus Christ. If you've never seen a Lele Pond skit before, lucky you. Wish that were me. I hate it here. Then allow me to give you a nice little reenactment of a Lele Pond skit. Hey, Lele, what's good? Uh, I don't know, get up in the morning. I hate mornings. I need coffee. I need coffee. Anyone know where I can get coffee? I need coffee. Uh. Lele, this skit isn't funny. So Lele's been writing these skits on her channel for a few years now, and, you know, she's received a fair amount of critique, I'd say. Probably the most critiqued YouTuber going. But, I mean, I, I, I say critique because I genuinely think that a lot of the hate that she gets is actually critique. Her videos genuinely suck and they've never gotten better. Sadly for Lele though, um, recently she started this new series on her channel called The Secret Life of Lele Pons. And I say sadly because we have to watch it together. Mm, I'm sorry. I have watched a little bit of some of the episodes. It does get serious. I think a lot of it is very real. I do actually have respect for Lele for making these because I think it's a lot to talk about your issues with the internet and your mental state as well, as well as all these other problems she goes through in her daily life. Now, I'm not saying that like her life is any worse than other people's. She is very fortunate. She has got a lot. Um, at the same time though, like most of her shit is materialistic. So please like, understand that like she does suffer as well. Uh, so try not to hate on her as well. I think this is an important thing. A lot of YouTubers like to just like build up this like hate train for people that don't particularly deserve it. Like, you know, if you know who you know, Anision is, right? Giving that guy hate, that bad but when it comes to Lele it's a different story because you don't know her you just don't know her and I think like with an Aesion we well, all kind of know who he is now without further ado though I thought we'd watch the trailer first give us a little dabble into the secret life of Lele Pons people think that I have the perfect life you know sometimes because of like social media you show that you do but no I don't have a perfect life I know I'm like annoying you by pausing the video every 10 seconds, but if you could subscribe to this channel before we finish watching this trailer, that would be fantastic because not enough of you are subscribed. Just look at these numbers. What the hell, man? Just subscribe right now, please. I just have to do it one no, more no, time. Don't do it. Hold on to it. You can, you can. We're going to do it together. One more time. I know. My deepest, darkest secret is that I have OCD. When I first met Lele, she came in as an emergency situation. I just had to touch everything, everything. And if I didn't touch everything, like, I thought my family was gonna die. It's really interesting that a person can be completely dysfunctional, and yet they can be incredibly productive artistically or professionally. You can't really create cultural impact without being a little bit off-center. That space off-center is where you find the good ones. But when you create and you put it out there, you become vulnerable that trailer now you get an idea of what we're dealing with here it is a serious documentary um and it, uh however there are some fucking golden moments in some of these episodes that i feel like we just can't miss so we're gonna watch it anyway just a disclaimer though i'm not trying to ridicule what she's going through her struggles are very real and she is suffering mentally however there are some funny things in here that i'm gonna look into try and bring some light to this rather than like making it a negative thing i, I guess you could say this is, like free promotion but like we probably get like 5,000 views in this video so who cares? People that think that I have the perfect life. No, I don't have a perfect life. You know, sometimes because of like social media, you show that you do. I remember when I was little, everybody would be like, Lily, make us laugh. Lily, fall. I didn't want to do it, but I wanted friends. So I would do it. She's a genius. She gets up every day and she creates. Does that make me a genius? Because <laughs> I post funny tweets every day. <laughs> and I stream on Twitch. I'm a genius! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, that's so cool, man. Prove to the world that she is an actual artist. She's not the girl who just got 30 million followers and decided to make music. Are you sure about that? 
Lele is one of the most bullied people on the internet. They just treat her as if she's some sort of product and forget that she's a human. I, I, I feel like that's kind of how the internet works. If you can't get your head around the fact that you're going to receive negative comments, you're going to receive criticism, you need to like build up a fucking filter in your mind on the best way to tackle it, whether that's just ignore it entirely and act like it doesn't exist, or try and read between the lines and try and actually find the actual critique that someone's saying. Someone could say, God, I hope you fucking die. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Uh, it would have been so much funnier if you didn't pause the video every five seconds, and then you just, next video, don't pause the video every five seconds. You're welcome, by the way. You know, it's, I feel like that's one of those things with the internet, is there are people who will hate, but at the same time, that it's their own way of critiquing you. They just have never done it before. It's just how it is. There's no one out there that it wouldn't hurt. It's just like, when, when did it all become that? When did it all become so, like, evil, you know? And then, like, what's happening here is that people are making hating me cool. It's not. I mm, I disagree. It's never cool to hate on someone. That's not it. It uh, Maybe it's cool to critique someone. And maybe it's cool to say they don't particularly like someone. Reason like, hey, I don't find her funny. I mean, generically speaking, like you're not funny to like most of your demographic. I feel like you aimed for a younger demographic with your skits, but then you ended up making them sexual and weird and just, the God, the writing was horrendous. You got negative comments because you were now being promoted to an older generation and your jokes were not ready for an older generation. Your jokes were ready for eight-year-olds and nine-year-olds who couldn't get on Disney Channel that day, so they came onto your YouTube channel and were graciously fucking disappointed. I mean, I'm sure a lot of them found the jokes funny, but at the same time, it's like, again, you have been promoted to an older audience, but you are still making jokes for, like, nine-year-olds. Like, you got to, you have to see that. I don't understand how she's been so blind to it for so long. She's like, oh, all of a sudden it became like this. It was definitely a slow... It was not an instant thing. It was definitely a slow building up of like, it was getting worse and worse because like, she continued to make shit fucking videos. End it. She's been struggling with OCD for over a decade, every single day of her life. Am I scared to tell people? Yes. Am I scared of what they might say? Yes. But am I embarrassed? No. My name is I feel like that could probably help her in the long run in m multiple different ways like I mean I'm not her manager or anything I'm not here to fix your problems but at the same time I'm like telling the internet like I'm, I guess this is what you're doing here just making social media posts would genuinely help I feel like when I've discussed how I feel inside and in my head maybe it's different maybe it's different for everyone but I feel like I've been able to speak how I feel and yes some people say that stop feeling sad you fucking clown but there are some, there are always someone who's going to be like, we're here for you. And I think that's more than enough these days. Um, and like to have slowly people understand that they'll critique you knowing that like, like I am right now, I'm going to critique you here a few times, but I'm critiquing you with the knowledge that you have OCD. So I'm tiptoeing around that because I don't want to offend. And I also don't particularly want to come across as if I have something wrong with you because you have OCD. Like, I, you know, I completely respect that you've been able to put up with it for so long. Uh, and do what you've done like I think that's insane. That's crazy. But holy moly like you could have saved yourself a, a Years of like this hate uh, If you had been more open about it earlier on I think a lot of these creators don't realize that making up a false personality Is the worst thing you can do the more honest you are and the more you that you are to your audience The better you're gonna be up here the, the easier it's gonna be I promise you like nine times out of ten so there, there, are certain circum circum there are certain circumstances where that doesn't add up and that doesn't, you know, work. But here, I definitely feel like if she was more open and more herself in her videos. My name is Lily Pons and I suffer from OCD, Tourette's, ADHD, and depression. Jesus, what? I didn't realize she had OCD, ADHD, Tourette's, and depression. That's insane. But then she's incapable of writing a check. She's incapable of turning off a light or opening a door or closing a door. She's incapable of taking care of herself at times. Uh, I feel like I kind of have to say it. Her dad's really hot. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I like look at him. Uh, I've, I've googled him as well. He's actually like he's actually gay. Um, so. Uh... Uh, but she's capable of taking care of. 
I never wanted to be a comedian. I never wanted to do funny videos. The more that you try, <laughs> I, I, God, I'm someone who just genuinely does not find Lele Pons funny at all, and I don't understand how she's gotten to where she is from fucking being so unfunny. But oh my God, doing funny videos was a distraction to OCD, to what was going on. When Vine closed, Kim Batch, he was the man with most uh, views in Vine, and Lele was the woman with- Seeing those three on the page makes my day. Lele, King Batch, motherfucking Talking Tom, my boy, my boy Talking Tom. She leaned very hard into the physical comedy, and she was extremely daring, didn't care who knew it. Dude. What? Physical comedy. So guys, you're telling me if I do this during my video, I'm doing physical comedy? Like, that's crazy to me. Like, that you guys think that that shit... It's physical comedy. What? That doesn't make any... What? I, I can get paid for this shit? Are you, are you serious? So, I've got to think of this episode now, and I've realized something. Because I've watched another one of these episodes as well, uh, before I made this, because I want to have, like, a judgment of what we were going to be looking at. They are, they're all structured the same. Uh, they start off with uh, the title of the video, which is like, whatever. Where, there's one about her Tourette's, so it's like, I have Tourette's. And this one is, I have severe OCD. So the first like 10 minutes is about that, educating our audience and like telling our story. Then it moves into, look at me, look how many achievements I have. Then it's like six, seven minutes of how many achievements she has. Which I guess is a good thing. I don't want to make it sound like it's like her rubbing it in your face. I feel like it's actually just her saying, even though I have severe OCD, Tourette's, ADHD, like she's all and depression. She's also saying like, what? Look, what I still managed to accomplish. Like I'm still accomplishing. Like just because I have these things doesn't mean you should give up, which I respect. And then it gets onto like more of her accomplishments, and then it's like then has she gone to music, and then it's talking about how amazingly gifted she is at music. Then it's like her uh, appointment with a doctor and it's her doctor explaining this, that, and like there's a few breakdowns. And then it moves on to the next one and there's the exact same structure every time. Um, so that's probably as much as we're going to watch today, I think. I think that's probably a sufficient amount to, to have looked at. Like this video if you'd like to see me look at episode two, which is my dad is gay. As you know. If you want to see that, like, and comment tell me down below if you'd like to see that. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope this wasn't uh, too forward and it was a, you know, a, li a bit of a lesson for some because I feel like a lot of people are a bit of a dickhead these days online for absolutely no reason. And I think seeing what you can do to a person is a pretty big thing. So yeah, anyway, enough rambling from me. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay groovy. That one's not sticking. All right, fuck off.